Give me all your V Bucks. I want them all. <laughs> Get away from my. <laughs> We're up to part 20. Oh. Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing Horrors from the Mist. This one has you collecting mist monster data in a 15 plus zone. Uh, this is actually pretty, pretty simple. You go to your map, you go to Stonewood, and then you just go down to a 15 plus zone. As you can see, they're all highlighted. And you just pick the one that you think is going to be the best for hunting down mist monsters. In my opinion, the best mist monster hunting mission is going to be the Destroy the Encampments. This one is basically a combat focused quest where your goal is to just hunt down tons and tons and tons of husks. So we're going to use this one to try to kill 15 uh, mist monsters in, or sorry, 5 mist monster data collected in one round, which should be pretty easy. All right, so for this mission, we're going to, I'm gonna use Trailblazer Quinn. Bear with me, Hipshot and Fleet. Just some of the characters we've picked up so far along the way. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna ba basically just try to do as much damage as we can with our Teddy. Uh, we got some, we actually got some synergy at this point, getting an extra four seconds of Teddy damage. Uh, we'll get some pistol, pistol damage boost and just run a little bit faster. So no big deal, but it should help us uh, move around the map quick and do as much damage as we can as fast as we can. Okay, so we're uh, we're hunting for Miss Monster data. So in order to do that, we need to well we need to find as many Miss Monsters as we possibly can. Uh, to do that, we're going to really try to focus on the mission objective, and we're going to keep our eyes open for Miss Monsters that might be just chilling around the map while we're transitioning from point to point. Often you'll find them in caves or in slightly isolated locations. So you want to just keep your eyes open just in case there's some lurking around and you can get some you know, easy miss monster kills. As you can see, the Teddy is a really, really good option for clearing waves quickly. Gives you a huge amount of pressure. Ooh, this is actually a good opportunity to check a cave location. No, nothing here, okay. Those caves are good, good, definitely good spots for finding mist monsters that are just lurking around. All right, next one we're actually going to get pretty lucky. It's really close to us. We got 29 seconds left on my on my Teddy. We want to really keep an eye on our on our cooldowns because your goal in these missions is pretty much just do as much damage as you can in the shortest time possible. We're going to get all the Mist Monster kills that we need. We're going to have to be doing pretty high level encampments. Uh, the high level encampments happen once you once you get four, four Mist Monster or four encampments done. The, uh, the encampments actually get stronger each time you clear them. You'll fight more and more waves. As you can see, we're fighting two waves now. Once you get up to the three waves, that's when you're going to see a lot stronger enemies. And that's when the Mist Monsters are really going to start showing up. All right, so we've got our Teddy back up again. As soon as you see the red dots, throw it down and go crazy. Get those fast clears, pop the second wave out as quick as we can. This is all about speed, so you wanna be really aggressive. We're still at two waves. That was our third encampment completed. Our next one is right there. Again, not too far. We're getting kind of lucky on the spawn locations. 10 seconds and our Teddy will be back up again. Four, three, two, one, Teddy down, and push hard. As you can see, they're spawning a lot more enemies now. Teddy's gonna be around for a single round. Last round, Teddy survived for two rounds, which you know, was <laughs> much better. But the rounds get harder and harder, more and more enemies. You really want to use the uh, the propanes to try to help you clear out as many enemies as you can. There we go. Still two waves though. Nice. All right, so now we're up to four out of five. Six seconds and the teddy will be up. 
There's our teddy right there. There we go. Three waves done. All right, so now that we're done with the three, that's uh, three out of three. Now we need to be looking for super encampments. Super encampments, we can kill, I believe, four of them? Four or five. Uh, so these ones are really hard though. This is when they get to, uh, all the waves are three wave long. The enemies are much harder, much higher chance of spawning mist monsters. There's one right there. Okay, so there's our, our first mist monster. Okay, mist monster down. Okay, so we're resetting the uh, resetting the encampment. There's another mist monster right there. So we're gonna kill him. Okay, so there's the data on the ground right there. There's his data. There's the other data right there. Now we're gonna cheese this out by resetting this on purpose. So we're gonna run away. Warning, you're about to leave the combat area of the encampment. Yes, we want that to happen. So we're gonna pull back. These guys not part of, oh, these guys are part of a different encounter. So we'll just kill these guys here. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, the encampment has reset. So we're going to engage again. Look for the mist monster. There he is right there. Oh, damn, he's got a shield. That sucks. Oh, damn. There we go. Oh, nah. Shoot, we got too far away. And it despawned. I was kind of unlucky that we got a... Uh, A shielded mist monster. As you can see, this one has no mist monster spawns, so that's no good. We're just going to retreat and we're going to reset and try to pull them out again. There we go. Enemies reset. Still got some laggers here. Okay, here we go. There we go. We got another mist monster. I heard him. There he is. Ouch. Okay, there we go. And we got his mist monster data. And now we're going to leave the encampment and reset. There we go. There's three down. We still got nine minutes, so lots of time. Get these guys out. There, yep, there it is. You can hear the cry. Hey, buddy. Oh, little minis, man. Little minis. Block. There we go, got his shield down. Take him down. And boom, there we go. And Miss Monster Data achieved. Okay, retreat again. I wonder, if we kill these guys here. I wonder if we'll get a Miss Monster on wave two. Yep, there we go. Okay, we got a Miss Monster on wave two. There we go, and Miss Monster Data again. Boom. And we got another one, I think. Yeah, I heard him. There he is right there. <laughs> All right, there we go. And that is our five Miss Monster data. As you can see, all you need to do is finish five encampments and then you can go and trigger one encampment. You usually get a Miss Monster on every single wave of the encampment, although not always. Uh, you can either choose to clear out the entire wave, getting usually about three. Um, if you get one one spawn per wave, or you can reset the wave over and over again and kill just the mist monster. 
and uh, and that's another way to complete it. Either way, you get your mission done. You only need to get five uh, five encampment just you know kills in order to complete the mission. And once you do that, you know you automatically complete the mission, and then you start spawning all the mist monsters. So it's kind of a win-win. These uh, this mission here is the perfect option for completing this quest in one round every time. And that is the end of Horrors from the Mist. So as you can see, uh, collect Mist Monster data in a 15 plus zone. You can get all five out of five in one round. No problem if you know how to do the tricks. <laughs> Catch you guys in the next one. Oh yeah!